Hello, I'm Neil. In this video, I'm going to give you my opinions as a new aircraft owner, one and a half years into my Carbon Cub FX3, and talk about tire pressures, both with uh, AK Bush wheels and the 3200 tail wheel. My name is Neil. I'm a former Air Force A-10 pilot and fighter weapon school graduate. Follow me on my journey to learn backcountry aviation in my Cub Crafters Carbon Cub FX3. So let's talk uh, Bush tires first. Um, Watching you know a lot of YouTube videos and uh, learning about the backcountry experience, you see uh, people running very low tire pressures on their bush wheels. Um, some have mentioned as low as four psi. Uh, when I got my TK1 Shock Monster shocks, uh, the instructions actually pointed out that uh, when you have shocks such as TK1s, you don't need to run low tire pressure, where the low tire pressure is doing your shock absorption or preventing any. Uh, uh, bouncing on landing and uh, you know the shocks are there to do the job now so you can run a higher tire pressure. Um, the Cub Crafters Aircraft Maintenance Manual or AMM suggests 12 psi plus or minus 2. Uh, don't know where that comes from. Uh, when I went on my motorhome trip last fall out to Oshkosh and then to Colorado and returned, I had my aircraft actually jacked to get weight off the wheels. Uh, if you watch my prior video, it talks about some care of AK Bush wheels, uh, such as storage and uh, maintenance, care and feeding type of thing. When I came back and I'm uh, um, checking tire pressure, I did notice the sidewall uh, uh, has a posted tire pressure range of 8 to 20 psi. Um, now, last uh, year at some point, I kind of came to a conclusion that, you know, I should run a higher uh, pressure and minimize my contact surface area since I'm on a paved surface here at uh, my home base, uh, really just for taxiing, coming and going. Otherwise, I go out and find uh, grass strips to do practice on, trying to prolong the life of my bush wheels. Um, Another FX3 owner, such as I do, uh, you know, he had suggested tracking uh, your landing surface in your preferred logbook. So, um, in my logbook, I track, uh, you know, hard surface, soft surface, and grass. So, when the time comes, uh, I can actually analyze the number of landings and uh, how long the bush tires uh, last. <clears throat> Talked about in the last video about rotating the bush tires per AK Bush wheels. Um, but let's go back to tire pressure um, and just give you my opinions. Um, unfortunately, there's been too many ground loops in FX3s. Uh, there are some things to look at, such as the common con configuration. Maybe there are contributing factors that people have not uh, addressed that, that could be contributing towards ground loops. Uh, the other thing is, is the big bush tires. Uh, all these ground loops are on hard surface uh, runways. Uh, from the analysis that some friends have done uh, in um, checking the history of some Cub Crafters aircraft and, and uh, accident reports. So if you have a low tire pressure, these are like suction cups and they're less forgiving on uh, paved surfaces. So if you run a higher tire pressure, you might be uh, giving, making the tire a little more forgiving by reducing the contact uh, surface area, but also prolonging the life. Uh, if you look in the videos, uh, from my last uh, video, uh, such as the, the angle of the tire at uh, first contact, you have that area where your cord is most likely to show um, as the tire continues to wear. Um, so I decided to go with a 16 PSI. In fact, uh, um, in my, after I rotated my tires uh, two weeks ago, I'm actually running closer to 18 PSI. And I'm going to show a picture of what my tires look like at this tire pressure. Uh, we're going to be warming up here in Virginia soon, uh, so I'll be keeping an eye on that. But uh, <clears throat> keep in mind also that if you're running below the posted sidewall tire pressure, then you're really in unknown uh, territory as to what uh, uh, your tire is going to hold up against. So if you're running below the uh, posted 8 PSI, you might want to check with AK Bush Wheels and see what they have to say about it. Uh, typically, a low tire pressure is not a good idea when it comes to sidewalls. Uh, so let's transition over to uh, the tail wheel. Um, as I was fighting tail wheel shimmy issues, um, which some of which may be normal, some people have actually responded to my last um, uh, video that uh, 
you know, sometimes that tail wheel when it spins is, it happens. Um, but another friend had mentioned about running a higher tail wheel pressure because I uh, said, you know, Cub Crafters and the AMM shows 35 PSI plus or minus two. Uh, he had recommended 50 to 60 PSI and that seemed to help his problem. Since recording a video about tire pressure last week, I have since discovered uh, some more information. Uh, last week's video, we also talked about what is the torque supposed to be on the 3200, the ABI 3200. And we did find that information out. Uh, somebody had uh, reached out to somebody else and found the EX3 uh, finishing guide outlines it. <clears throat> and that's 45 foot pounds uh, for that 5 8 bolt, I believe it is. You may have two of them depending, you know, if you have the leaf spring set up, there are different models of the 3200. But also in EX3 finishing kit, as I'll uh, show a picture, it says to use 50 to 60 PSI on the tail wheel. So I think there's a discrepancy in the AMM that says 35 plus or minus two, and that is too low. Keep in mind, tire pressures are also designed for load bearing. So if you look at the sidewall of your 3200 tail wheel, uh, this doesn't apply to baby bush wheel. I don't know what those tire pressures are. Um, I don't know anything about it. I have the standard 3200 uh, tail wheel. It mentions 70 PSI and then there's a load value. I have a, a picture of it. I can't remember the number, but that tail wheel is designed to carry a load at a set PSI. And the 3200 um, mentions that load at 70 PSI. Uh, so I believe we'll call it 55 PSI is the uh, desired target for the tail wheel. Now another FX3 owner that's had, had his plane, um, I believe sometime in 2019, it's a 2020 uh, FX3. I um, can't remember when he took ownership of it, but he had a tail wheel that has recently failed, failed his inspection, fortunately did not uh, fail um, while in use. but. Uh, sidewall cracking and this is typically a result of running too low of a tire pressure and uh, I know this from motorhomes motorhomes tire pressures are absolutely vital uh, we do corner weights we do uh, constant tire pressure checks tire pressure monitors um, the last thing you want in a motorhome is a, is a blowout um, so a lot of education and uh, learning um, for those motorhome owners out there about tire pressures so it's a little bit of a sensitive subject for aircraft so that's just my opinions on uh, uh, bush tires. Just to use a little bit of thought as to where um, you're flying and uh, think about your tire pressure. And uh, you know, and again, if you're going below the uh, sidewall um, range, um, your uh, tire may not hold up, um, or at least you know, to whatever the manufacturer. Uh, so think about your tire pressures, your use, etc. One other follow-up to last week's video, when I mentioned that I'm losing the uh, spring clips, the, the clips that are on the steering arm on the ABI 3200 side of the uh, link chain, um, somebody replied in a comment that they safety wire theirs, and uh, I think that's a brilliant idea. And so I'll show a picture of mine that's safety wired, and essentially you're just um, holding the, the uh, wire together um, so that it can't uh, work its way off that steering arm uh, somehow. So this will show me whether it's actually breaking and separating or if it's just turning and rotating its way and uh, kind of like a uh, keychain uh, ring. Um, you know, if it just, if, if something gets in between and pries it apart. Um, so safety wiring, these clips, super easy. Um, you may think, hey, I've been flying mine for one, two years, haven't had a problem. Well, that's all. so was I until a year and a half in, and all of a sudden I lost both. So safety wiring it uh, part of the picture, or however you want, uh, may just prevent you losing a clip, you know, when you're, you're out somewhere and having to deal with the hassle of getting a replacement and installing it and hoping you don't lose another one, which happened to me. So... Uh, that's just my little uh, opinion on tire pressures that I wanted to share as a new aircraft owner. Um, learning this Cub Crafters FX3. Uh, feel free to reply in the comments with any tips you have, any corrections. And uh, let's just share information and help each other learn. And uh, thank you for those that have texted as well as commented on my last video. 
and shared great information. I'll keep uh, keep passing that on.